My name is Chastity Hatzfeld. I'm the gifted education teacher at Oakdale Middle School in Allen Parish. Today's lesson will focus on mood and tone, and the lesson objectives are that students will be able to distinguish between mood and tone, as well as identify mood and tone in different mediums such as music, movie trailers, and literary text. At the end of the lesson, students will be expected to independently identify mood and tone in excerpts from The Hunger Games using an art technique called Humament. Okay guys, today we're going to talk about uh, tone and mood, and we've talked about tone and mood before, okay, um, but I want to revisit it because um, I want to make sure that you can really distinguish between the two of them, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is um, I'm going to play a few pieces of classical music in, um, for you to hear. In front of you, you have um, a ring of paint swatches, okay? So with your partner, I'm going to play the music, I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to think about um, what you're hearing, how it makes you feel, okay? That would be what? How it makes you feel is what? The mood, okay? Um, I want you to think about what color it makes you feel. Um, and I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to give you a few minutes, a few seconds to talk with your partner. And you're um, going to hold it up and we're going to talk about um, what you feel. So um, go ahead and close your eyes. Okay, so um, take about 20 seconds, talk with your partner, look through the colors. Um, what, how did that make you feel listening to that? I think I'm trying to think it was like, 
three, so they're going to show both colors. Okay. There we go. All right. One, two, three. All seen 
the real moody Frozen. Yes. Okay. What, yeah, what, um, what moon is Frozen? It's the happy. It's happy. Or, it's happy and one. then it's kind of, you know, and sad, then that just happy, and sad. That. Okay, so happy, sad, happy. Okay? What about this one? I got oh, yes. Yes. I got yes. Yes. It's actually yes. not great. Right. One more. It's what it was like, you want to go this down, man? Okay. So what did the director specifically do here? I think Change when, it. uh, she shoved the carrot through the Olaf's uh, head, I think that kind of gave me a little bit of laughter. So I, I was sure it wasn't completely black, but okay. I think kind of said on this because it was still kind of creepy funny. It's kind of funny like, that they uh, get clips from the real movie and make it scary. So, yeah. Because, I like, porn, okay. it was still just a little scary. Really that, that, I had a real movie. Point, have that okay.
of you are uh, pretty much done. Okay, so uh, Ross, do you want to go up to um, the document camera and show us what you and uh, Leah got for the first one, please? Right here, we put Howled and Banshee because Howled makes it expressively loud and Banshee is like a very scary entity that you would see. So it put the mood in that this is a scary thing and yeah, it put it in the mood that this was scary. And then thunder and lightning just made it sound even worse because it just made it sound scary because it was loud. And if you were in that position, I'm sure you'd be loud. I mean, you'd be. Good job, Ross. Good from the book The Hunger Games, um, and you are going to uh, create a, um, an artwork, okay? And I'm going to show you an example real quick. For this particular page, I circled all of the words that the author uses. What is the mood of the page? It looks sad. Oh. Sad, yeah. sorrow. Yeah. Okay, so I boxed in all of the words, and then I filled the rest of the page with this picture. Okay, I'm going to show you one more example. I have to do that. It looks cool. I don't think I can do that. You can. Here's another example. Okay. I boxed in all of the words that set the tone for me. Okay, what do you think my mood is here? Happy. Peace. Calm. Okay, notice I... Um, I boxed in well-being. Muscles seem to ache less. I felt even better dozing. Kind of peaceful, like Lydia said. Eyes okay? closed. Eyes closed. Almost maybe I'm taking a nap. Okay. So you are going to take a page of the Hunger Games, and you're going to do this. Okay. When you finish, we're going to put them up. We're going to have a gallery walk, and um, you're going to describe, explain what the mood was for you, and why. What tone did the author? Um, Put in the in the book. Okay. Questions? Got it. All right. What words are you um, boxing in? Um. Well, I have the words where it's because this is really about like confusion and like madness and like someone died. So it's so I box in words like really don't care. Like I don't know. Um, cannon fires collapse. I should have known fighting, stuff like okay. that. Right. Very good. I don't think hunger is an emotion. I don't care if it's a feeling. But she's talking about... What words are you doing, DJ? I'm doing she's sleeping, awful dead in my bath, because so far what, what I've read, I've learned that the uh, they're the getting ready to battle piece. and fight each other. Okay. So I was going to draw people that okay. shoot arrows and somebody with X's mm -hmm. over their eyes like they're dead. Okay. And then it also says almost everyone on the scene is dead. Okay. So it's telling you that this is gonna this passage is going to be about death. But I haven't read it all the way yet, so I don't know yet. Okay. Very good. Right here it says that she's very, very hungry. So I'm going to box in the places where it says she's very hungry. And then I'm going to draw a like a feast in the background. Okay.